This is me before when I had rosacea and this is me now. When I don't have rosacea and you're now going to tell me that rosacea is not curable, this is total BS because I did it. I am the powerful person that I can cure anything. Anything. And yes, I did the same thing with rosacea. I had rosacea for a year and I was doing a lot of research. Guys, when you get something going on with your health, you know something is wrong and I know that there is an answer to get rid of that crap that I had in my life. Now, I am not a doctor telling you straight away. I am esthetician, I have my skincare brand, and I was like, what the heck is going on with my skin? So, I took my power, I took my time, I took my brain and research, and I have done a lot of research. Now, this is what worked for me. It does not mean that the same thing is gonna work for you. I highly, highly recommend to do your own research. Uh, rosacea is a chronic skin issue. That is not true, even though every single doctor in the world gonna tell you that this is true, this is absolutely not true rosacea is not a skin issue rosacea is inflammation in your gut issue and it might be in the entire body inflammation so what happened when i started having rosacea and it came gradually not like right away one day i woke up and my skin is red it came like slowly 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 but with that i had other issues as well in my body and i'm very very good to listen to my body because I already had in the past diabetes, Hashimoto surgeon, I have IBS, leaky gut, all this crap going on with my health. I overcame that, everything is in remission, I'm super happy, super healthy. And I realized that rosacea is one of those autoimmune disorders. When I went to my um, thyroid doctor, I go to endocrinologist once a year because I had a history of Hashimoto's, I have to go keep checking my thyroid levels all the time. And the rest, last time when I talked to her, she's like, do you know rosacea is actually autoimmune disorder? Uh, which nobody is actually talking about but I'm happy that my um, doctor uh, endocrinologist she's a little bit more towards on the holistic side so I started digging in um, you know in all the articles research done about rosacea and there's a lot of confusing information a lot of contradictory contradiction you know against one another and this is like I was like lost and you know what when you're lost when there is information this is bad this is good this is good basically you can find the same information one article where you're gonna say this actually works and another article gonna say this is not working so what happens when you have this going on one saying one another saying another thing you actually test it and try on your body and this is what actually worked for me by the way all the medical articles everything i'm gonna put down below do your own research i highly highly recommend do your own research before you start doing what i did and so long story short rosacea is basically inflammatory disease um, condition that you can actually heal it or at least you can put it in remission you can become friends with that and don't be afraid it's actually curable i have situations where i cried and i thought what the heck is going on with my skin i cried i didn't want to film youtube videos i am youtuber i am influencer i am esthetician and i own skincare brand can you believe can you imagine how much pressure i have on my shoulders i almost got depressed because i had rosacea where I am representation of my brand, I'm always presenting my skincare brand with my skin, right? I am obsessed about microneedlings, dermarollers and everything. And I was like, one day I can't do anything because main point of me is promoting my products, right? With having a nice skin. And then I realized, you know, that rosacea is not a skin issue. Rosacea is the issue over there. Probiotics. Probiotics are good bacteria for your gut. I use, at this moment, two different probiotics. I always rotate. I never use the same one. I highly, highly recommend to rotate any kind of supplements, uh, probiotics or detox supplements that you're taking, taking at all times. Um, again, I'm telling you, I am not a doctor. This is what worked for me. Don't take my recommendation seriously without doing your own research. Saccharomyte boulardii works very, very well with Candida. I doubled this dose. Even you're supposed to take one pill, I double. I did two because when something happens, rosacea is basically either some sort of pathogenic issue, either you have parasites, bacteria, virus, any kind of mold, uh, mercury, whatever, any kind of pathogens, we don't know what we don't know, right? Um, studies also been uh, showing that uh, people with rosacea, I don't remember percentage, but it's quite high, above 70% people with rosacea have H. pylori in gut. 
that's mean that we have H. pylori bacteria um, and which is not good bacteria it can destroy our gut system and that affects our skin basically our skin is a mirror what's happening in the gut there is a correlation there is always relation your gut and the skin uh, second sub uh, probiotics that I was taking this is ladybugs this is from Walgreens just uh, simply a lot of good uh, lactobacillus different kind of bacteria I also doubled the dose of this so basically I was taking three to four pills of probiotics nothing is gonna happen you're not gonna overdose probiotics if you're taking double the dose uh, this is what you want when you have a bacteria and of course this not going to heal this not going to cure but this has a huge impact another supplement that right now is banned on Amazon and hopefully they're not gonna ban my video this is NAC and acetyl l -chycetine. NAC is basically building antioxidants in your body, short, um, short version of what is NAC. You can do your own research what is NAC. Another product that helped me a lot, I was listening to one really, really great um, a scientist that done a lot of research about rosacea. He's like PhD dermatologist. He's some sort of like I had, I don't remember the name. I just listened to him and he mentioned this product nicotinamide riboside chloride or um, this is from true niagen basically NAD which is strengthens our immunity basically they are fuel oxidation in the body we all have oxidative stress right we all have sort of like oxidation in the body with the age when we're aging we are not getting younger our cells is not getting younger we're getting only older and our cells age like when you look in the mirror you only see wrinkles right you you have a pain of getting older 50 60 70 80 years old whatever even some people start getting sick much earlier like i started being sick at the age of 30. So I have a little bit of knowledge as you see guys, I'm all about research, I'm doing about research, I'm reading book. This is my favorite health Bible book, the hands down, this is what healed me, what the help means for those who are interested. Gut and psychology syndrome, how gut actually affects our psychological issues and any kind of issues in life. Oh my god guys, I will go for hours and hours talking about the health, how important it is to actually start with him start with what you eat and stuff like this um so this one it is i think that helped me really 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 a lot i started seeing differences right away and everything what i'm talking about more or less can apply not only rosacea sensitive skin acne skin any kind of other chronic skin issues um and now let's go to um it's not a supplement it's actually um something that i did for myself it is colonics that helped me really really a lot and i'm not gonna go into diets you know guys i'm super super healthy i'm not eating any crap sugars dairy and gluten and stuff like this i am talking about the right now about supplementations because i think that had a huge the biggest impact in my uh journey healing rosacea so colonics is a colon hydrotherapy where actually I can insert small footage when I did um, is basically cleaning your bowels doing like sort of like a you can do enema at home but that's like professionally done by a colon hydrotherapist uh, procedure that you cleanse your bowels they put a little thing in your butthole and like basically filling up with the water and that water when it comes out it comes out all the bacteria basically this is a very natural way to detox your body just did colonics yes. at this amazing place thank you ladies the best oh, the best oh, massage and colonics yes. thank you for coming <laughs> we appreciate you so much thank you. you some of you actually one person today or yesterday texted me hey jen i love your page on instagram and stuff like this but i would like you not to post anything related with colonics i'm sorry but i'm standing for this I know it works it worked for me and if you don't like it if you never tried and you don't have any like serious health issues you can judge me as much as I want I'm standing for what worked for me and I know what for other people because I follow other people that heal themselves from chronic really chronic bad uh, health issues and I'm doing myself the same thing and it's helping me and if it's helping me I'm gonna stand for this stuff and I will promote this as soon as this is legal I have a right to speak up and I have a right to help people and I know some of you already thanking me and saying I, I i love when i receive messages hey jen thank you so much for this book recommendation 
I have at least 20 or 30 people that they say, thank you, June, for recommending this book. They are healing. I love when people can heal. I love when people can feel better. I just have this insane passion in my heart to help people because I know how bad it feels when you're freaking sick. When you're sick, you don't want to do anything. And when you heal, you're just like, you get your power back. You can live it. You can enjoy life. I will always stand for what I believe. And I believe in Anima a lot. Um, something that I have not talked much and something that I was, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of, you know, against it. It's one sort of type of antibiotics that helped me with rosacea. I knew I had the research done. The metrodinazole, I knew topically works with rosacea. And I was always against any kind of antibiotic steroids, something not natural to the human body. But here is the thing, um, when you're actually loaded with a lot of uh, oxidative stuff in your body, when you have a lot of pathogens, bacteria, viruses, and stuff like this, and nothing really helps, or maybe I didn't do enough, then I was like, you know what, I'm going to try antibiotics. And funny story, quick, quick story, actually I basically took those antibiotics not for rosacea reason. I knew that metronidazole actually gel, topical gel works for rosacea, but I knew rosacea is actually internal. So what happened, I actually, one day I woke up and I had uh, bacterial vaginosis, BV, and it was so bad that any kind of natural remedies didn't work for me. So I went to my guy, you know, he's like, you need metronidazole and stuff like this. And, you know, I started taking this because when you have bacterial vaginosis, you know, the smell is not really pleasant. And I'm like, I'm going to do whatever it takes because I have to change my underwear five times a day and I cannot go in a public place because the smell is that bad. And you know, it's kind of weird sharing with you this, but this is true. This is what we women face every day, you know, in our lives. And that's okay. I'm no different than you, right? So this is what happened. I started taking those antibiotics. I did the research and the more I did research before I put something on my skin or on my body, in my mouth, I actually do research. The more research I did, the more I realized that metronazole antibiotics actually helping with rosacea internally. So it is funny story how I'm sharing actually how I got antibiotics for rosacea to cure rosacea and heal rosacea, but it wasn't kind of intentionally. So sometimes, you know, things happen in life because it's supposed to happen. And I think, for example, I believe that, I don't know, God or universe, whoever you believe, that sending me sometimes struggles so I can actually share with you. I can overcome this. It, the same was with Hashimoto's and diabetes. I can actually overcome this and I actually can share that information to you and can help some of you, even if it's going to be just one person that I'm going to be helping. That's a lot. Imagine if one person in the world and how many 8 billion people, if just one person helped to somebody else every day, we all will make this planet a better place place to live right so i hope this video helps let me know down in comments below what helped you if you have any chronic health issue especially skin issues let me know because i'm learning so much i'm learning every day i'm learning from you and i'm so grateful to have you over here on my channel thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't click the red button subscribe please leave me a like and i will see you in my next video by the way if you want to um get notifications get emails from Jin amber go to jinamber.com sometime we're sending like new videos new launch as we're launching uh Right now, at this moment, uh, in the next two, three weeks, we're launching like a lot of stuff. I'm launching skincare course, I'm launching new product, um, I'm launching something I don't, I don't want to share too much, but it's just like, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my, my newsletter, I will highly recommend to subscribe going to jinamber.com. I love you guys so, so much. I'm sending you a lot of love from my heart to your heart. I love you. Bye.